Hey guys, so today on my vlog, I wanted to talk about the issues that our baby has with her umbilical cord. I've been getting some questions since I mentioned something about it in a Facebook post last week. Um, and honestly, this is the reason I wanted to do a vlog at all right now is because when I first found this out about our baby, I looked, I looked up all the things I could on Google, on YouTube, and really I could barely find anything. I think there were about three ladies that had videos, um, about this abnormality and I just wanted more. So I'm hoping to add at least one more story and I hope it'll be a successful, happy ending story. Um, so what our baby has, we found out at our anatomy scan, she has what's called velamentous cord insertion. So essentially what that means is her umbilical cord is not inserted into the placenta, but rather into the side. And I have a little picture I want to show you. So here's a little image I have up on my computer to show you. So this is the placenta right here. This would be just a normal insertion. And then these are varying degrees of the umbilical cord being inserted kind of on the side. And then this is velamentous or velamentous, I'm not sure how to say it, um, insertion, which is what our baby has. And she has the three vessels, which is good, but it it's inserted into the membranes and then kind of threads down to the placenta. And um, right here at the insertion point, these vessels are essentially unprotected and um, just really fragile and there's a lot of risks that kind of go along with it. Um, and then these are just kind of some images from ultrasound where they can track the blood flow and kind of see where it has to go to, you know, reach up to the placenta, um, how far it has to travel. So there are two separate kind of concerns with this kind of umbilical cord. Um, the first, first being um, growth restriction because she might not be getting the blood flow or the oxygen amounts that she needs. At our 19-week ultrasound, she was doing fine, and she was growing pretty much right on track. She was almost a week behind, but that's pretty normal for my babies. They're just kind of smaller. Uh, Keegan was also measuring a week behind, I remember, at his um, anatomy scan. So that wasn't concerning to me. Um, but I do have a follow-up ultrasound at 32 weeks to see how she's growing, how she's responding, if she's, if they think she's getting enough oxygen. Um, so I have that scheduled for July 15th and if she's not growing well or if she's below, I think it's like 10%, 10th percentile, then, um, we'll need to move to an immediate delivery, which kind of freaks me out. Um, and then the other concern, after we get past that milestone, uh, is when I go into labor, I um, the cord is just really fragile. Sorry. Every time I cry, I'm just going to cut it <laughs> and start again. So the other concern is that when I go into labor, um, the cord is just really fragile and um, can essentially burst or snap. So I'm not allowed to have contractions at home. I'm not allowed to wait to go to the hospital. Um, I, uh, I'm i supposed to just have the baby on the heart monitor the whole time. And uh, if she starts losing oxygen or blood flow or her heart rate decelerates, um, then I'll have to move to an emergency C-section, which at this point I'm fine with. I mean, <laughs> that's not what I want, but... Obviously, the risk of having a stillborn is high, and I, I can't say it's high. My doctors don't actually seem that concerned. I might be dramatic about this. <laughs> it's higher, I guess I should say. Um, but, yeah, I'll, I've never had a C-section. This is my fourth baby, anybody that doesn't know me in person. Um, but I'm willing to go through that for sure. Um to avoid the chance of stillbirth. And, um, yeah, so we could use all the prayers you have. <laughs> Sorry, I've been cutting this video and starting again every time I start to cry. <laughs> I've heard you're not a real vlogger until you cry on a vlog, so <laughs> yay. 
I'm already a real vlogger. <laughs> and you get to see my ugly cry, but that's real. So we're keeping it real. Um, which somebody asked me the other day if I meant to spell real, like R-E-A-L, which I originally did. And then my husband thought it'd be really funny or punny. He loves puns. Um, to put it like a video reel. So that's why my video, my, my channel is R-E-E-L for real. So, anyways, we can use your prayers, and I'll keep you updated. Uh, my next update about um, Velamentis cord insertion will be after the 32-week scan. So, if you're experiencing this, too, I'd love to hear from you. I'll put my email in the description box below. Bye, guys.